people who get easily triggered should stay away from this film he was not kidding the number of people that are going to get triggered after this the comment section is going to be wild the much anticipated animal directed by sandeep reddy vanga is finally here The hype for this film really has been unparalleled. For the advance booking of this film indicated that it would have one of the biggest openings of 2023. A huge feat achieved by a film that has an A certificate and a runtime of 3 hours and 21 minutes. The theories have run wild and I sat in a packed theater at a 7:15 a.m. show with majority of the audience having no clue of how this movie and its plot will shape up. A rarity in today's day and age where the trailer gives away the entire plot without ruining much the film focuses on the complicated relationship between a father and son Balbir Singh and Ranveer Singh Balbir played by Anil Kapoor and Ranveer Kapoor respectively as is the case with most relationship of indian households between the men there is a distance some amount of fear yet boundless love for one another the twisted nature with which the son becomes absolutely obsessed with his father seeking for his validation and love to be hailed as a worthy son from an adolescent to student to an adult forms the basic beats of this film an unfortunate incident of an assassination attempt on the father gets the father son duo closer as the son goes on a violent rampage in annihilating all the enemies of the family leading to the integration of the characters played by bablu prithvi raj and bobby deol a violent saga indeed with the core being the father son relationship forms the basic premise of animal here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the movie so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch animal in theaters or not the underwhelming aspects grotesque and problematic moments One of the things that you may have noticed with a film like Kabir Singh was that the protagonist would often discuss parts of the anatomy. This seemed natural as most of the characters were playing doctors, but it seems it's less a Kabir Singh thing and more a Sandeep Reddy Vanga thing as parts of the anatomy are often brought up in regular conversations even in this film, even in the midst of the domestic help of family members being in the same room. I wonder whether in the case of Animal it was for shock value more because these conversations seemed organic in Kabir Singh Ranveer tells Rashmika that she has a big pelvis a body perfect for bearing children in one casual instance Ranveer sees his sister go for the whiskey and he tells her don't do that have wine that's good there is no indication to reference Ranveer's character to be regressive as he urges his sisters to stand up for themselves and acknowledges them as strong independent ladies but one wonders sometimes why such random dialogues are sprinkled in the film he has a fascinating for his nether regions either correcting someone of the way they urinate or a whole scene dedicated to his rash and the importance of growing pubes he throws random verbal jabs at rashmika which are demeaning ridicules her for wearing lingerie reprimands her for complaining about her periods tells the children that their mother is jobless and a moment also showcases some 50 shades of gray influence it leaves you with many conflicting emotions i have to say that this movie will become the most polarizing bollywood film of 2023 not because of the violence because i think that is badass but because of the social especially romantic dynamics explored in the film running time when sandeep reddy vanga said that the 3 hours and 21 minutes of the film showcase a sequence of scenes which act as essential components to understand the story and the absence of some moments from this film would have been detrimental to the overall storytelling i don't fully agree the film could have easily been edited around 15 to 20 minutes from its run time and you feel the running time slightly way heavy on the film in the second half after an exhilarating first half that cannot be faulted at all one explores ranbir's rehabilitation going through severe psychological and physical changes that makes him extremely volatile and reactionary this is also the point where one gets introduced to tripti dimri's character and the screenplay seems to go through a lull period until some intel is communicated something that i believe could have been easily otherwise collected by ranbir and his army rather than shedding light on such social dynamics i genuinely believe tripti dimri's integration is slightly forced if you look at the big picture i believe the exploration of the family feud of the swastik corporation and its history would have benefited the film rather than having experienced this slump in the screenplay this would have allowed also to explore bobby deol's character even more who i believe slightly gets shortchanged with his screen time the good 
organic music and phenomenal score. Two of the distinct features that existed in Sandeep Reddy Vanga's previous venture Kabir Singh was that despite having close to eight tracks in the screenplay, Sandeep never let the runtime or the investment of the audience reach a point of exhaustion. The music acted as an essential element of the screenplay that guided the story forward and two, the songs were never lip-synced or performed between characters. I think this is where Sandeep stands out as a director as his music is intended to progress the screenplay versus ever act as a break for the audience to randomly go for a loo break. The music of Animal has hit it out of the park in my opinion. A Telugu language director exceptionally makes sure that the theme of the film with Arjun Verli, penned and written by Bupinder Babbal, has ties to Sikh history and the tales of Arjun Singh Nalva and Hari Singh Nalva, the Sikh empire armies of the 19th century, a father-son relationship and describing how Arjun will create havoc on the battlefield with his Gaddasi is so apt for Animal. Hua Me perfectly encapsulates the feeling of young love, rebellious and free. Satranga, a sense of brooding calmness of a relationship that has been established but is undergoing severe conflict. Papa Meri Jaan and Sonu Nigam's angelic voice just showcasing the establishment of this obsession between the father and son. Deep Raak Sari Dunya Jala Denge is just the only song which I felt could have been utilized slightly better in the screenplay. A special shout out to the song Hewan. I literally had goosebumps as Ranbir collected his Avengers from the Tubbar and brought them along to the palace in Range Rovers. You know they were the ride or die men who were going to fight tooth and nail for this family. The music really had a profound positive impact on the holistic quality of the film as it essentially explored the themes and relationships shared between characters. In this pursuit, however, one should not forget about Harshvardhan Rameshwar, who has composed the brilliant score of the film. Everything from Rambir's introduction on the bike, when he charges with his army all in blue, the madness in his eyes as he establishes the chokehold on his enemy, oh I have so much to talk about. Supporting Characters I must commend Sandeep especially on the way he has cast the tubber. There is nothing more satisfying than a Hindi film director who wants to portray a particular section of society from the country and does so authentically. I had chills when Ranbir goes to recruit his right-hand men. They exude brotherhood and a ride-or-die attitude so essential for the film. Even though Rashmika has been trolled quite a bit in the trailer, I must say she excelled in the moments of confrontation with Ranbir. This is where Rashmika is tested to her limit. As as the scene is present without any cuts. It demands her to be vulnerable and raw and I must say she pulled it off because it is a very tricky set of emotions. Anil Kapoor is also brilliant in this film. His constant tussle of apathy for a child, a lack of emotional vulnerability as he makes his work a priority is brilliantly communicated. The opening trailer sequence that has become the talk of the town is as effective in the film as it is in the trailer. While Bablu Prithviraj has little screen time, I feel the demonic presence of Bobby Deol had so much potential. Bobby looks batshit crazy in each frame he features in and he is an embodiment of evil with respect to the dirty and despicable acts he commits. So one really had the potential to showcase him as a force who cannot be stopped. Bobby doesn't miss a beat but I think the screen time did him slightly dirty. Gruesome violence and an exceptional interval block. The film is A-rated and 100% I say this with absolute conviction, this film is not meant for the squeamish or sensitive. If you are easily triggered by violence, you need to stay away from this film because it's no holds barred. It's an understatement actually, when you will look at the sheer carnage and bloodshed executed throughout the film. Sandeep Reddy Vanga sets the tone when Ranbir is in school itself. One can consider this to be an homage to Kabir Singh, but just on steroids. The score as Ranbir goes with his army to annihilate a threat just made the crowd erupt in my theatre. I cannot tell you how engaging and thrilling the first half of Animal was and Sandeep really created the best character arc of a delinquent teenager to a vengeful warrior. This is a combination of both setting up the motivation for the character and insight into how his personality has become this way and who he loves and resents in the family dynamic. This is done so well that you are willing to support Ranbir's bloody journey of vengeance. This culminates in such an exceptional manner in the interval block which has to go down as one of the best choreographed action set pieces from Hindi cinema in a long time. And you know why it is effective? Because each movement is carried out by the actor himself. And even though the action choreography commences with mini jump cuts, 
What is beautiful is that Sandeep choreographs each punch, blow or gunshot to the music. I can't tell you how the audience absolutely erupted the moment Arjun Veli played and Ranbir went on a murder spree. The war machine has often been criticized for its CGI and I just want to reference that the only hiccup regarding the frame is not the machine itself but the rounds of ammunition that get blown which are essentially CGI flares. But you know what's crazy? It worked. It worked big time in the theater. Ranbir Kapoor and the Vanga Rage Ranbir Kapoor as Ranvijay Singh Balbir gives everything to this role. You take it for granted when an actor says that they are director's actors. But when you look at the performance of Ranbir and what he has pulled off, it seems like he absolutely surrendered to Sandeep Reddy Vanga. There is not a single beat that he misses. Even when he plays a school kid filled with rage, there is this manic energy in Ranbir that is electric, especially when channelized into action sequences. Sandeep Reddy Wanga is the only director that has acknowledged the capability of Ranbir the action star to his full potential. Ranbir is emotionally naked and bare in this film, politically incorrect in every way possible, only with the sole purpose to prove his worth to his father. Ranbir takes the shape of an angry predator who has no room for questions and has horse blinkers on for his ultimate goal. The psychoanalysis of this character can be a thesis in itself of what shape love and devotion can take. The rage of animal is perfectly encapsulated as Ranbir takes charge of the family business, giving faith to the labourers that the assassination attempt on his father will not be forgotten and that he will bring the enemy's head in return. A violent threat is followed by the slogan of the company, Shanti Pragati Vijay. This is what you will feel throughout this film, this dichotomy. For you feel uncomfortable in this civilised world we live in today, but Vanga has basically transported you to a period epic where there are warring empires deceit within family, families and the women within them are torn. The hiccup only happens on what you prefer. Are you someone who believes violence should be the last refuge? Then this saga is not for you. Or you go the Tarantino route and just love a gory bloodbath because it's fun, then this is that and more. I wished Animal was slightly more crisp in the editing table, but this is a bloodbath with such contentious social topics that you may have never seen in Indian cinema. And that was the video guys, write down in the comments below what you thought about Animal. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the handle's right in front of you, follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.